So I wanted to share uh, a project I was working on. You can get this code on GitLab. I'll put a link in the description, but my GitLab is gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000. You can also check out my website, filmsbychris.com. There will be a link there to my GitLab page. Uh, but this is a GitHub project, a GitHub project, a Godot project I have going. And one of the most annoying things uh, when it comes to um, games is when you have a game and you don't like the way the controls are set up. So I wrote this simple little code. It's very basic, definitely can be improved upon, but it's meant to be a base to add upon. Let me go ahead and start this game, and you'll see that I have a little square here. And with the square, I can use the arrow keys, and I can move that square around the screen. But do I want to use the arrow keys? No, I want to use WASD, but they don't seem to work. Well, if you read up in the top corner of the screen here, it says move player or press enter to remap. So I'll press enter, and now it brings me to a screen, and it says press a key or button for twice. There's a typo in there. Press a, a key or button twice for UI right. So that's the action in, in, in the Godot game engine for the, this particular setup. And I have you hit it twice that way, so if you accidentally hit a button, uh, it ignores it. So you have to hit a button twice in a row. So it says right, so I can go uh, D, D, and now left, A, A, up, W, W, down, S, S. And I have it added to the action, so the arrow keys still work. But now, WASD work as well. Now, I don't have to save this to a file, so if I restart the game, it's going to be gone. But you can always dump it to a save file and bring it back out. Uh, but it's a very simple code, less than 30 lines of code, and a lot of that is just getting the text up on the screen. And if I hit enter again, now I can go uh, over here. I can use my number pad. I can go right, right, left, left, up, up, down, down. And now these controls work. And again, I have it adding uh, the new buttons to the old buttons, so the old buttons still work. WASD. Uh, you can also have it clear out the previous codes when you add a button so that if I add WASD, maybe it will remove the arrow keys. But check out that code. There'll be a link in the description uh, of this video. Uh, and that's up on GitLab. Simple project. Again, less than 30 lines of code, and a lot of that is just getting the text up on the screen. So uh, I hope you find that useful and hope that you have a great day. Filmsbychris.com, Chris with a K, link to that uh, website as long as all as well as all the source code and stuff in the description of the video. I hope you have a great day.